Making waves in her community after creating, yeah, did that scare you? Bit by a shark. Snow sharks in her front yard. Those are pretty, look at the teeth in this thing. Those are pretty good. Now people are sharing pictures of those pieces online. Of course they are. Jennifer Ramirez says she decided to make something creative with the snow after her city was hit with a major snowfall last week. The first shark came together in about a day. The entire display took her about three days to make. And this isn't the first time that Jennifer's made a splash with her art in the community. Back in 2020, her fence artwork got a lot of attention, too. Look at that. That's kind of a great idea. And she's like ice for the teeth. That's Little great. icicles from the top. Uh, there you go. Yeah. That's great work right there. Mm -hmm. And those teeth may be just as sharp with that ice. We are just days away from the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. Can you believe that? Today, SA Live is taking us down to the ranch where the cattle come from. Plus, my oh. favorite, soup's on. Fiona, we hear you have some great soup recipes on the show today. Happy wet and chilly Wednesday. It's the perfect day to get cozy at home with a big bowl of soup and maybe a hot sandwich. And guess what? The soup's on. Today on SA Live, we're sampling soup from across the city. The split pea soup at Nadler's Bakery and Deli on the Northwest side, the soup and panini combos at WD Deli North of downtown, and we even have a soup cookbook author on the show, Clifford Edwards, the author of Supernatural, a collection of healthy soups will tell us about the soup diet he came up with for a friend. It's also a great day for coffee and tea. Our very own Java Jen takes us to Curator Coffee on the north side for a sip of their brews and an up-close look at their beautiful ceramics. But that's not all. Jen's also taking us down south to Kimball Cattle Company in Carn City, where Dr. Kimball is getting his longhorns ready for this Saturday's Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. That's right. It's almost time, and these cattle here, some of them will be hitting the streets of downtown. I have Dr. Scott Kimball joining me now. What is your favorite part? Because you said this is history coming to life downtown, right? To see the people's response, for them to hear and to smell, and to get as close as you, you guys are today, you're going to get embedded with them. Obviously very passionate about this. You're going to get a history lesson here today, and we'll tell you more at 1 o'clock on SA Live. Thank you. It is almost time to pull off the cowboy booth. Well, mine are already out. The rodeo season kicking off in a few days. The rodeo returns February 9th through the 26th. And right now on KZ.com, we've got a look at all the events and performers who are going to be appearing this year so you can plan your rodeo trip. We also have a link so you can get your tickets. It's in the things to do section of KSET.com. And remember, if you can't make it out on opening night, you can celebrate the kickoff with us. We're going to be live with the rodeo special. It starts at 7 o'clock, the first night of the rodeo on February 9th. And you can watch it right here on KSET 12, or you can stream it live on KSET Plus, KSET.com, or KSET's YouTube channel, the rodeo live, and then a post-game show live. So much fun last year. Quick check of the forecast today, 34, 35. We're not going to warm up much. Cloudy, sort of drizzly and rainy. Uh, still some light freezing drizzle possible for the hill country, but mainly all liquid here in San Antonio and things do get better tomorrow. It warms up 47, 59 Friday, 63 Saturday, 70 on Sunday. The weekend looks great, but uh, just know there are a lot of down tree limbs up across North San Antonio and the hill country, guys. All right. I know it's been a long morning, but it has great job, guys, in the meteorology department. Stay warm. Let's get to it. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, hello and happy Thursday. Well, we have uh, Mike is still trying to it get in, this bag open. It is, it is intact. Yes. Yeah, those are the, the Skittles in there. So <laughs> I was going to like, you know, do the boom. So. Yeah, and she yeah. was right. If you had done that, they probably would have gone everywhere. They know you well. <laughs> yeah, they don't ever want on my coaster, Hage. And I'm Fiona Gorostiza. Well, our first guest today wears many hats, but the first thing he is going to show us is how you can lose weight and be healthier by using his little known diet challenge. Joining us today is Clifford Edwards, author and creator of the 30-day liquid diet challenge good afternoon good sir afternoon. good to see you okay these soups look absolutely beautiful and delicious how and what are we making today well today we're going to make uh, uh, lemon asparagus soup with a citric
electric balsamic drizzle. Yes. Ooh. See today? That sounds yes. Good. Soup for you. Yes, so, today. Yes. It's soup okay. for you, right? <laughs> and it's all just simple ingredients, right? So what right. are we starting with here? All vegetables. So if okay. you'll uh, chop some onions up, put that in the olive oil, we got the shallot. Uh, we're going to boil some cauliflower. And then if you'll uh, kind of rip apart those asparagus, we're going to put that in the chicken stock as well. Okay. And this is all vegetarian, right? It's all vegetarian. So the, the soup book, Supernatural, uh, it's everything could be vegan mm -hmm. um, if you use vegetable stock instead of chicken stock, but uh, everything's just vegetables, so everything is exceptionally healthy and, uh, and just uh, very satisfying. And then all of these just really basic, simple ingredients go into this thing too, right? Right. Yeah, everything is vegetables. I think, you know, uh, part of this was uh, to lose weight, and uh, you put good things in your body, you get good things out, and uh, I actually had a successful I'm doing it in the 30-day liquid diet challenge. How much weight did you lose? I lost uh, just about 25 pounds. 25 pounds. And how did you come up with this diet? Because okay. that story's interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it wasn't my intention to write a cookbook. It was actually uh, one of my fellow, I would drive boats on the Riverwalk, and uh, one of my fellow captains was going to have jaw surgery. He was going to have his jaw wired shut for a month. And uh, so he was going to go on a liquid diet. So I decided to put myself on a liquid diet and see what happens. I weighed in every day, every morning. I put it on TikTok. And uh, by the first eight days, I'd lost. 10.2 pounds uh, in 30 days I lost 25 so it was a success and you were doing that the liquid diet the uh, soups as well as a protein shake right right so I'd have a protein shake in the morning I made fresh juices mm -hmm. uh, and then at night I would uh, cook some soup all original recipes and uh, I would fill oh, that's that. good and, uh, so yeah I think we forget how good oh, food is straighten no, the apple there's one, in, one ingredient <laughs> in that and it's uh, it's apples mm. So, yeah. That is absolutely delicious, and you said your girlfriend did it as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. didn't need to lose she weight, but lost didn't weight. need to lose any weight. She lost nine pounds, <laughs> and she was eating salads. I, everything I ate was it's just liquid. liquid. Yeah. Okay, and you weren't hungry, right? I wasn't hungry. Okay. It was very satisfying. Okay, uh, so, oh, no. I was going to say we, this would uh, boil and um, cook down, reduce down a little bit, and then yeah. go in the blender, right? So yeah, it would go in the blender. Uh, if I can blend this up real quick. Okay. Oh, maybe I can't. Let's see. Well. And that's why we practice ahead. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, anyway it would what blend. you get in the very end is this beautiful soup, and this is it right here. Right? Uh, that's actually the mushy that's pea and that, mint oh, soup. That that's the roasted <laughs> pepper soup. Oh, yeah. uh, I do. Uh, there's a vegan broccoli cheese soup in the recipe book. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's uh, lots of different flavors. Now that's uh, I grew up. I have British parents, mm -hmm. and so mint and and, mint, uh, and peas are oh wow. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then the malt vinegar uh, drizzle. So I do the drizzles on top because, uh, you know, if you're just eating soup all the time, you need a little splash of flavor. And, of course. Uh, so it, it kind of breaks the monotony. So yes. that's a split bit with a little bit of mint in there. That's right. Okay, that this little bit so of mint good. added in there just absolutely changed the whole flavor. So how many different soups and recipes do you have so in your book? There are 14 soups, mm -hmm. and they're great because they make a lot, so you can kind of food prep for the, the months. Mm -hmm. um, I also included a recipe for a fat-free vinaigrette. It uses citrus juice, vinegars, a lot of different herbs, and uh, so that's included in there. Okay. Do you and have a favorite soup? Uh, I actually like the mushy pea soup. Yeah, with that yeah. mint. Yeah. That was nice. Everyone really comes alive. Okay, mm -hmm. you heard him mention that he's also a boat driver oh, on yeah. the the barges on the river, mm -hmm. and he's also an author, not just cookbook author, children's books, and then some uh, mystery books as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I do have a, a novel that I wrote, uh, and the children's book just came out a couple weeks ago, Gertie the Gassy Gator, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which may have been inspired by the soup Super diet. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a vegetarian uh, alligator. So, uh, anyway, and then the, the uh, for you of sin, it's kind of like Silence of the Lambs type stuff. <laughs> And then the cookbook, and I've got another uh, children's book coming out, uh, hopefully next month. Um, I read the book for You Have Sinned, and wow, you've got a vivid imagination. I'll put it. I'll put it that it's not for the faint of heart either. So, all, right. all three books, of course, are on Amazon, like we saw. Yes, yes. Okay. yeah, Amazon, as well as your cookbook uh, with all the soup yes. recipes in there, right? Yeah, it's everything that's uh, supernatural. It's all. Uh, it's all available on Amazon. And uh, so the next book that I do will be put on Amazon as well. All right. Fun Thank fact, you so much. I did much. the Alcatraz shark swim one oh, yeah. year. Alcatraz to San Francisco with shark infested waters. Okay. For more information. <laughs>
information <laughs> on Clifford Edwards and Supernatural, just head to SALive.com, click on the Ask on SA Live tab, or just scan the QR code that you see there on your screen. Okay, a lot of people make reserva re reservations. Oh, by the way, this is when we were on that barge with him, and we were trying to drive it. And I did an exceptional job, Clifford told me. <laughs> When yeah, I was there because not many people oh. can get that thing turned completely sideways. I was just holding on for dear life when you were driving. In, in the channel, which mm -hmm. it's quite unique talent that I have, right? <laughs> he did great. Yeah, see, we were stuck sideways there. How do you do it? You got us in quite the pickle. Mm -hmm. Thank but, goodness. But again, most there. people can't do that. So. <laughs> this is the last time Mike drove. The bus. It was almost my last day at work. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, maybe some people long to drive a barge on the river or do something else. So what's something that you've always wanted to do? Mm, fly a fighter plane. Get my pilot's license, yeah. Oh, yeah, we do, we do like that. Okay, so mm. let us know what's something you've always wanted to do. Anything at all at SA Life Case on Facebook and Twitter. You might see your answer a little later in the show. Every year at the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, you can see Longhorns walking through downtown San Antonio. We are here at the Kimball Cattle Ranch, and these are some of those cattle. Joining me now is ranch owner, Dr. Scott Kimball. Hello, thanks for having us out here. Afternoon, welcome. Last year, how many did you take to the parade? Uh, approximately 72. 72 this year? What do you think? A little over 50. As okay. many as I could put in three 32, uh, 32 foot gooseneck trailers. And that's a lot of work. I see them behind. I mean, these are some, some big longhorns. They don't like dark trailers, so we gotta light the trailers up so that they can slowly get inside the trailer. It takes about 45 minutes to load uh, the cattle. And then um, by 7.30, 7 o'clock, hopefully, <laughs> uh, we can pull out of here and uh, get unloaded with you guys at uh, 8, 8.30 in the morning. Dr. Scott Kimball and his family have been raising Texas longhorns since 1981. Here on their Carn City Ranch, you'll find approximately 200 historic Texas longhorns. Just as you have us human beings who have all different hair colors and body style and mass and the makeup on, that's what the longhorns do and that is very unique to us to make sure that um, we keep raising the walking history. Yes, yes, and you mentioned history, and that's a big part of why you're part of this, this parade, right? These cattle are what fed the Confederate and the armies, and if it wasn't for these cattle, there would not be any food available for us to be Texas, because the local history here is these cattle were brought in from Mexico and housed on this land and Yower Flats, which is about four miles north here, up by Fall City. The history of this area in this valley here um, is what helped the Mexicans at that time, the Texicans at that time, gather the wild stock here and can move it north to feed the army to fight Santa Ana. And to sum up the history, Dr. Kimball tells me Texas Longhorns originated in Africa. They migrated to Spain for cattle and beef, eventually making their way to Santa Domingo, then moving to Mexico after a bad storm. The European stock then bred with the African stock, giving us these unique colors and and not one Texas Longhorn has the same coloring as another. And then now that we have the difference in the color pattern of all the Longhorns. The original Longhorn stock was more like a Coriante, was a black body and a red line back mm -hmm. and short horns, which you know the Coriante is what they do the roping with. But now we have this type of stock. If you can't tell by now, Dr. Kimball is very passionate about preserving the history of Texas Longhorns. The idea to raise them came from his mother years ago and the legacy continues here in Carn City. This is a respect for my mom. She just passed in July, and she was really big about keeping Texas history and knowing that Los Orange County was a special place. So looking at that, taking it into San Antonio, when we walk those cattle through the Alamo Plaza, and I have pictures of it, to listen to the clicking of the feet, the clicking of the horns, the mooing, and to see the picture of the Alamo behind the stock, that's to me what it's all about, is bringing that walk in history so that all everybody who doesn't understand it 
you got a smell, you got a sight, you have um, the visual, you have little kids that usually are on their iPhones, they're not on their iPhones. They're taking pictures, but they're not on their iPhones. They're listening, they're smelling, they don't see livestock. Walking the streets and the clicking and the, and even you look down, you've still got the old dog on bricks. Okay, I've had a great time here at the Kimball Family Ranch. And just a fun fact, here on the pasture, Dr. Kimball observes the cattle, then decides which ones will make it to the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive, all depending on their personalities and a few other things. So some of these here you may see this Saturday. For more information, you can head to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or scan that QR code on your screen. We got a visitor here. Say hello, buddy. Let's rodeo San Antonio. The cattle are coming. Live from downtown San Antonio. The Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive. There they are. Saturday, February 4th at 11 a.m. KSAT 12 coverage powered by your local San Antonio area Chevy dealers. National Soup Month. Yes, you can be prepared with delicious food made from scratch when the South Texas temperatures eventually will drop again, right? Are you okay? It is 80 outside. <laughs> I know. It's always great, especially when you look at some of these great soups and sandwiches that Kelly uh, Palubiak, owner of WD Deli, has made for us. So good to see yes, you again. Welcome. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year to y'all. All right, so right now I'm doing the base for the chicken tortilla soup, but yes. you got to have a sandwich to go with that. Yeah. Right? Yes. So we're going to get the sandwich started right away. And this is, we um, added some new panini to our menu. So this is a new turkey bacon pepper jack Ooh. panini with chipotle mayo, which is a classic favorite mm. of the deli. So I'll have you open this up okay. and we're going to slide this guy the best way. Here. Okay. Right up here. Yep. It's a little okay, hot. And I'll just put that dude right here and we're going to get that guy pressed. Ready? Yep. Thank You're going to kind of press him down. Luckily at the deli we have better press, but this works for TV. <laughs> yeah, this works for the show today. And we've got some pretty big ones in here, so yes. I added some of the spices in that, and now adding... Yep, so now you're going to go ahead and add, we use crushed tomato and um, the green chili tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You've already sauteed um, white onion, green onion, and garlic with some oil, and then added uh, paprika and cumin and some chili powder. All the ingredients. It's all, yeah. Smell this. I know it smells amazing. Then add the chicken. Uh huh. And this is chicken that's been marinated with a WD Deli special marinade that we make in house. What's the marinade? It's a special secret seasoning. He's going to always put try. Yeah. He always tries to get that I secret try. recipe. I try. You try. And then <laughs> our not lemonade, but chicken broth is going to be our finishing touch in here. Okay. What would you say the trick is to the to perfect the, that tortilla soup? Is it the broth, it, it, adding that the right amount? The camino. Oh, we okay. uh, we really kicked up the spice mm -hmm. in the recipe, and it adds so much depth of flavor. Mm -hmm. um, and then using the seasoned chicken. When you have every part of your recipe that has seasoning and flavor, mm -hmm. then it all works together. Made with love, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and absolutely. And when you make chicken tortilla soup at home, it's all, you know, the next day when you heat it back up and all those flavors yes. kind of get together and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Now you've taken a lot of the, the classics and then added to them and added some of your own with yes. some of these yeah. sandwiches, So here right? we've got today, this is uh, baked potato soup. This is our Monday soup of the day. So every day we have chicken tortilla and tomato basil. Um, and then each day we have a soup of the day. Um, okay. So Monday is the baked potato soup. This is our tomato basil. Mm -hmm. And then uh, today's soup of the day is broccoli and cheese. Ooh, I love broccoli and cheese. And then our new paninis we've added. Um, this is, in addition to the turkey bacon ranch, or turkey Ooh. bacon pepper jack, we have a chicken bacon ranch. Uh, we also have, I brought the chicken parmesan, which is on Ooh. ciabatta, which is delicious. And our Italian panini, salami, ham, and pepperoni with tomato and basil aioli. Ooh. And a three cheese grilled cheese. What's your secret? Okay, to be perfectly honest, this is cold soup right now. It and it's delicious. But what, because the broccoli flavor is so... Mm, distinct and, yeah. and intense. What What's your secret? It, it's we don't over chop the broccoli. Okay. Um, so we use a frozen broccoli. That way it's always fresh. We don't have to worry about quality control on the broccoli part. And then it's a very systematic process on the ratio. Okay. That's good. Oh, yeah. Nice. And you gotta have check dessert. on this. Oh you yeah. Mm -hmm. Desserts there, right? So the desserts. This is our new cookie of the month. It is a. Uh, 
Mexican hot chocolate cookie. So it's got a little bit of a kick and it kind of hits you at the end after you've had a couple of bites and mm. all of a sudden that heat hits you and it's so delicious. Mm. Um, and then we have breakfast. So I brought two of our, new, two our newer items, a cranberry orange scone and a blueberry muffin. Okay. And, and then you oh, also, oh. yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, and I'm featuring, uh, so WD Deli, we're now selling uh, Pete's Snack Shop nuts. So we do not make our own nuts, but actually my baby sister does. <laughs> so we now are selling selling her uh, adorable and tasty nuts, and very soon her cinnamon churro nuts will actually be in our new coffee cake. And brunch all day Sunday. All day Saturday and Sunday. That's Ooh. a big deal. With yes. pan when we also, in addition to our breakfast sandwiches, on the weekends we do pancakes and French toast, oh. and we do biscuits and gravy. Oh. Keep going. Oh, yeah. we're out of time. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm so hungry right now. Thank you so much for more information on WD Deli. You can head over to EssayLive.com. Just click the As Seen on Essay Live tab, where we provide a link. You can also scan that QR code yeah. on your screen. Thank you so much. Thank you. How well do Fiona and I know each other? This gentleman is going to give us the test. He's got a list of questions. That's another thing I'm thankful for. People who really know me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Why she didn't put my name down? On that, so. Yeah. We're back with Clifford coming up after this. A game called the Not So Newlywed Game for charity, and uh, Cleto Rodriguez was the master of ceremonies, and there were a lot of laughs. And how well do you know your spouse? We are like a married couple here. Absolutely. On TV. Finish each other's sentences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I mean, yes, <laughs> yes. all the time. But mm -hmm. how well do we know each other? Yes, truly. Well, we asked you guys questions, and let's find out what the answers are. Mike, okay. we'll start with you. What is Fiona's celebrity crush? Who is a little? So Fiona's celebrity crush. Um, I don't know. Uh, I know I talk about it because other people on the crew know who my celebrity And we only got a few minutes. I so. know. Uh, okay, I'll say Tom Hanks. No. Okay, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger. No. Um, he doesn't listen. Oh, 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 oh. Dan, uh, the guy played Superman. You got him! Henry Cavill. My wife likes him too. Yes. All right. Yeah, who, who's who? Mike's celebrity crush? Michelle Pfeiffer. Wow. No, I know that. I know that. Wow, he that is pretty about good. About that. He talks about I don't know her. Name uh, or not, and so. J Lo, if you're watching, you know. Hello. And uh, all right, next question, Fiona. Uh, what's Mike's favorite dessert? Ooh. Okay. Well, I know on the show he kind of goes berserk over bananas Foster or bananas pudding. Uh, banana. Bananas Foster? Bourbon cake. No, what was it? Chocolate what? souffle. Oh, chocolate souffle. Chocolate souffle. Uh, oh. Okay, my chocolate souffle. All right, All right. All right Mike. Uh, your Save favorite dessert is going to be um, Tres Leches cake. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. Okay. I'm, I'm, glad I'm glad y'all know each other very well. That's <laughs> close. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mike. Yeah. What is Fiona's favorite movie? Uh, uh, um, and you're wrong. Guess again. <laughs> Uh, the one with the love story uh, with all the people in it. That yeah. narrows it down. <laughs> yes. That's um, like saying one. It just had its 20th anniversary. Are you thinking of love actually? Yes. It's not that. <laughs> giant. Oh. Oh, oh giant. Yeah. I don't know that. Okay. You, should, you should. He doesn't listen. <laughs> yeah, okay, what's my his favorite, favorite movie? movie? Oh, well, everybody knows. It's a wonderful life. No. What? Favorite overall movie? Christmas oh, movie is a wonderful life. Oh my God! No Frankenstein. Oh, that no was Frankenstein. sneaky. That was sneaky. Okay. Mike, what was your? I mean, yeah. What was your? What was Fiona's first car? Um, it was a. I told you. I know you have. Mm -hmm. Was it a Camaro? No. No. It was a. Um, uh, a Yugo. No. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Mercedes Benz. 1979. 1979. Okay. <laughs> With matching hotels. Okay. Hey. I wasn't going anywhere fast. My kids called my first car the hot box. <laughs> yeah. What well, was mine? Um, Brown Pinto? Nope. Oh. Close though. AM, whoop, an AMC Gremlin. Oh. Gremlin. Oh, yeah, I remember the Gremlins. Hey, All right, last but not All right. Um, Fiona, what was Mike's first concert? Um, uh, let's say uh, Amadeus. 
Oh, we're going with Beethoven on this one. All right. Oh, <laughs> rock and roll all night. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. First right. Olympia Stadium, Detroit. That's yes. Right. Okay. And Mike, what is Fiona's first concert? Um, in Las Vegas, Wayne Newton. No. Dunk a shame. Whoa, you dunk too. a shame. You too. Oh, okay. Glad to see y'all know each other very well. <laughs> so we, uh, um, we've been together yeah. for six years. So who, who, who actually won? Who? Nobody got one. Oh, you got Michelle Pfeiffer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was a tie. Oh, was a tie one one. We did tie. Is that because you were you were helped on the? <laughs> so wait, did you not get anything right on mine technically? <laughs> not one. Coming up, and not just the TV show has been taking over, but the dance has gone viral too. The Raven Ball comes to Market Square, and we're learning the popular dance. What could possibly go wrong or get pulled? It's next on SA Live. SA Live. Well, today we're celebrating the popular TV show Wednesday and that it has to include this dance that went viral. And did you know it was actually choreographed by the actress who plays Wednesday, Jenny Ortega? Didn't they, isn't the story go where they just said, hey, do something and she kind of made that up on the spot? I think so. Okay. Well, <laughs> and is that what the Google says? Jenna's not yes. here, but we have someone even better. Crystal Diaz, owner of Adanza Vida, de San Antonio is here to teach us this dance. Mm -hmm. All right, so you saw it. I did. What'd you think? Definitely a lot different than what I'm used to. Very okay. lax. I like okay. to reference like noodle arms and, you know, but we're going to make it work. We're going to do yeah, this. Because you grew up dancing and it's like Yeah, one, two, my, three, my style three. dance is very precise, you know, and I always tease my dancers. I don't like spaghetti arms. I, I, it's all about spaghetti arms in this dance. So okay. Give us a here lesson. we go. So okay. we're going to break it down. So we're going to start with the shoulders. So we're going to do four shoulder moves and we're just going to walk. One and a two and a three and a four. Next step, we're going to wrap the arm this way, wrap it the other way, and we're going to drop. Okay? Mm -hmm. After this, we're going to do a pivot. So we're going to turn to the back, bring it all the way back around, and we're going to do this infamous move here where we're going to go to the front, left, right, and a left, then bring it up, right, and a left, and a right, and a left. Okay, how does that feel so far? Good. Feel totally good? natural. All right, so let's mark it one more time <laughs> in the beginning. All right. And we're going to rock. And a one, and a two, three, and a four. We're going to wrap, wrap, and bring it down. Go into that pivot. Turn all the way back to the front with the right arm to the front. One, and two. We're moving that head. Three, four. Bring the arms up. One, and a two. Three and four. Good job, guys. Look at you. You look very natural. All right, so we're going to move on to the next. You're an excellent teacher. The yes. next step. Thank you. So I call this the noodle. The noodle. Okay, okay. so we're just going to let go, and we're going to do a little kick with the arms up. One, two, three, and a four. From here, we're going to do a twist. So put your hands in two fists, okay. and we're going to twist three times. One, and a two, and a three. We're going to drop all the way down. Bring it back up. We're going to do a little hello, yeah. and we're going to knock three times. One, two, three. All right? You got, okay? you got that? You got that? You got that? All so, together. So, let's do it all together. As, as okay? As long as I can watch her. So. <laughs> we, we got this. This would be okay. music? Is this what so we're going to do the second oh, half, one more? more? Yeah, oh, we're going to do this, oh, this, okay. this new part one okay. more time, and then we'll do it all together after all right. that. Okay, so we're going to go from the noodle kicks. Ready? Noodle kicks. And a one, one, and a two, three, and a four. Oh. Fist, one, and a two, and a three. We're going to drop it, do the infamous wave, and a knock, knock, knock. Okay, so then we're going to do it all together. I know. Are you guys ready? Good luck. <laughs> So we're gonna cue the music. We got this. So we're gonna cue the music. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Walk. Two. And wrap. Wrap. Bring it down. We're gonna turn and face the front. Right. Left. Right. And a left. And we're swing. And noodles. Twisting, 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 ready, drop, wave, knock, knock, knock. Oh, we, did <laughs> we did it! Oh my god! Out of the box! We were almost perfectly in sync. Oh, were you watching that too? I, I just, I was so hyper focused. Well, we you guys, there, 
there. So. Accomplish the viral Wednesday dance. Oh, thank Congratulations. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank Congratulations you. To you. And don't worry, we are going to step out of the way and let the real dancers take the stage. We are getting a very special performance. Oh my gosh, cuteness alert from Danza Villa de San Antonio in just a couple of minutes. That's coming up. All right, we love putting the spotlight, of course, on new businesses, and today we're going to share one on the far northeast side that sells coffee and ceramics. <laughs> yes, Judd Tobias Trusky, of course, takes us there. It's a place where coffee and creativity come together in one local shop. Today we take you inside Curator Coffee, where every cup is served in a handcrafted mug. Yuli Chang is the owner here at Curator Coffee. When she's not in her shop, you'll find her at home working on her pottery. She proudly makes many of the mugs you'll find in the shop. And yes, you can purchase them too. So something very different is that we not just use the local roaster, but we also serve all our hot drink in the mug that we made ourselves, or our potter friend made it. So our logo represents people, our creativity, and coffee, of course. Yeah, so uh, it's weaving up those four elements together um, because people are all different, and that's why we really value that. We offer different brewing options to go with the roaster that we're curating each season. Each lot or hot drink is served in these handcrafted mugs and her shop serves as a home base for other creators and artists to sell their work. Uh, majority of them are potter because I, you know, I'm, I'm more close to the potter community. I'm a potter myself and um, we also have some uh, painter here and aside from that all the barista here is can do either art or music so we also have barista painted car always available for two dollars a piece. Only. Nice. Hand painted. Did, right? Yeah, awesome. and we kind of want to promote that, you know, art and coffee vibe. So every Friday, we also provide the event called Painting with Coffee. We teach you how to paint with using espresso and matcha. Oh. Yeah, so it's like watercolor, and our barista will teach you how to paint as well. And it's only three dollars per person, and you get a free little lecture with how to use the news medium. Here's a look at some of the customer favorite drinks. Our best seller is definitely the lavender latte and the blood orange green tea. So the green tea we serve here, we do the cold brew style. So that's something very different than other places. It does take us 24 hours to brew our green tea. So whenever it's sold out, it's out for the day. Um, but the way we focus on cold brew is so we can still reserve the nutritious from the green tea and it's healthier for our customer. Um, aside from that, uh, a lot of customers like the matcha with either rose or lavender flavor. She also has live music on the weekends. Obviously, people come here, they're supporting an artist, a local business, and this is something that got started back in with a coffee trailer. A and little then, car, a push oh, car. A cart, okay. Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> so from the car back in 2020, yeah. and now you have a brick and mortar. So it's time to taste some coffee. Ready? Awesome. Thank All right. you. So that one is our best seller, is the lavender latte. Mm -hmm. And we do it very subtle, mm -hmm. it's not too sweet. Um, we oh, still perfect. focus more on the coffee taste. Yeah, and, and that's good. the black orange green tea. It's also very popular, especially in the afternoon or when the weather is hot. It's so very refreshing. Yeah. yeah. That's the matcha with rose. So um, we kind of came out with this flavor. It's not on the menu, just between the berries, so we really like it too. Yeah. So yeah, highly recommend it. And if you're hungry, they have sweets from Scratch Kitchen. All right, Jones Malt Burger in Thousand Oaks area. You can come support a local business and your hours. Oh, we open every day. So um, Monday through Thursday is 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Friday we do painting with coffee. We teach people how to paint with espresso and matcha on Friday at night. So we open from 7 until 9 p.m. And Friday is when we do music, our little open mic event. Um, for the weekend, we open 8 to 3 p.m. So just a shorter hour so all our barista can have a little weekend there. Be sure to come by and support local. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias-Drusky.
Yes. Well, okay, so we shared some of Nadler's Bakery Sweets earlier, but, you know, look at this. We got to highlight their deli, too. Yes. I mean, they're so well known for all of the great bakery items. I think, do people sometimes forget that you have all these wonderful deli sandwiches? We call it the stepchild. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are stepchildren that you would really yeah. want mm -hmm. to uh, love. Alexia Nadler Munoz, Mendez, pardon me, president of Nadler's Bakery and Delicatessen. So, what have you brought with you today? So, we, I brought the top three, and the Nadler's Reuben being the all time thing that we're really, really noted for. Um, so, we have our Nadler's Reuben with corned beef, and then we do have an Alexia's Choice, which is a funny story in itself. And then we have our turkey avocado panini. What's the story behind <laughs> Alexia's Choice? <laughs> so, I was born on Thanksgiving and so I told my mom she must have really ate a lot of turkey because I do not like turkey really? I do not like it but the Alexia's choice is turkey <laughs> <laughs> what else is in there and well it's your because choice. I yeah. can hide it with yeah. everything right. that's why I enjoy it so it's got cranberry relish it has baby spinach it's got mozzarella and uh, honey mustard dressing Oh my gosh, okay. It is just a mouthful of some <laughs> good stuff. Hey, I'm gonna try this. Okay, and of course, the split pea soup. And we are known for our split pea soup, yes. And we put knockwurst in this because oh, I think yes. it's a secret people don't know about, and I just think it's something that really highlights that split pea soup. I love a Reuben, I love a Reuben. And it's incredibly, mm -hmm. I mean, incredibly thick and creamy. Yep. It's a really, really thick so soup. What, Very and, hearty. And you had said the secret to it is chicken stock, and I said, oh, okay, is there cream in there? No. No. Nope. What thickens it? Mm -hmm. Potatoes. Really? Yep. We have potatoes in there that thicken it up. Look if you're going to get a spoonful, I know, put that I know. in my I mouth, okay? Okay, well, hold I'm, on. I'm going to go like this. <laughs> we get the close-up shot. Yes. And I'll go like this. There we go. Then. Very good. Without spilling a drop. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay. That's good stuff. Okay, and so, uh, and so, of course, coming up, we've got Valentine's Day, we've got Mardi Gras. Folks need to get those orders in, right, if they want. They need to order early. They mm -hmm. need to order early, yes, because uh, Fat Tuesday hits early this year, which means Easter's hitting early. That's right. <laughs> oh. And you do cakes and everything, too, right? Everything. Okay. We do it all. How many different items on the menu as far as delicatessen items? Oh, my God. We have too many items on there. We got paninis. We have sandwiches. We have salads and hamburgers and soups. and s We have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Any deals or specials coming up? Um, we'll talk about it. Okay. <laughs> What is your, and aside from the Alexia's choice, what's your favorite thing on the menu? Um, actually, I like my son's choice. I have an Andre's Dream on there because it's uh, meat with an egg and peppers and cheese and oh, yeah. Wow. It's really nice when you put a fried egg on sandwiches. Oh, a yeah. fried egg on, on a Reuben is good too. So are these three are mm -hmm. these three the most popular the most popular, popular items? Yes. Aside from these three, what others are ordered a lot? So we do our hamburgers are really good. Mm -hmm. So we do, do we do a lot of that. We have a Monte Cristo panini which is really good. Um, we have the Super Club because it's a triple decker. That's like huge. That has ham and turkey and bacon. It's like a BLT and a ham and turkey sandwich all together in, in a sandwich. Oh, that sounds it's good. It's huge. Six days a week, mm -hmm. not, not open on Sundays. Six your days hours. a week, Monday through Friday from 8 to 4 and Saturday 9 to 4. And dine in or you can get all this good Dine in or call mm -hmm. <laughs> and take to go. Okay. All right. Thank you so Adcox, much. Thank just you. outside 410. Did I mention about the bread pudding that's so good over there? <laughs> uh, all right. For more information on Nadler's Bakery and Deli, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code that you see there on your screen. Oh, thank you. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell. <laughs> Fiona ate one of the green things right now. What's something you've always wanted to do? Go to Hawaii and not come back. I'll carry your luggage tomorrow. Can Take the train across Canada from I would Colleen. Love, I would love to do that. I've heard that. It's absolutely beautiful. Hike down to the bottom of the Grand Canyon and back up the other side. Been to the canyon, just hadn't had the chance to go all the way down yet.
Now with a special performance, here is Don Zavita, this San Antonio.